You've always protected the interns. I mean, you've always been their teacher first. And why in God's name should I waste my time and energy whipping some intern into shape when I know damn sure that as soon as he gets the first opportunity, he's just going to blow right out of this dump? Oh, he's... Oh, okay, now I get it. Why don't you just tell him that you're sad that he's leaving, like a normal human being? What are you talking about? Oh, come on, Perry. We both know who you're really mad at. So I'll work somewhere else. We'll still hang. J.D., that's not a 37-minute drive. It's an hour and 15-minute drive, round trip. And I got a wife, I got a kid, I got a kid on the way, I got a new job. I'm in the same boat. It's a good boat to be in, though, right? Yeah. So we'll see each other when we can. How about tonight? We'll act sulky so the girls think we need to talk more. I'm in. I'm gonna miss your skinny white butt. I'm gonna miss your perfect brown one. Um, you wanna pull your pants up first? I'm still not ready. <sighs> Guys, you know the rules. If you're gonna hook up in here, put a sock on the door. Come on, I know a secret place. Remember when you were a kid and your family moved? And how you always wanted someone to blame for all those big changes? You're still working here for a few more weeks, right? Yep. I'm gonna make them special. Luckily, most of us find the courage to tell friends that we'll miss them. Good night, Dr. Cox. I still believe in summer. Or not. The seasons always change. Hello. Still, what I remember most is that leaving parts of my life behind always ended up hurting more than I thought. Oh, uh, no, Turk. Don't sweat it, man. If Izzy's alone, you can't leave her. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Yeah. We'll just hang out another time. All right, man. Right. He can't make it. No. His love.